Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making some quick and easy cake pops. Um, really simple recipe. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try, give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite cake pop flavor. Alright, so here's what we're going to need to make our cake pops. We have one cake mix. You can do chocolate or vanilla or whatever flavor you want to make it. And you need what your ingredients are in the back. So I need one cup of water, half a cup of oil, and three eggs to make this. So we're going to need one cake box. We're going to need some frosting. I have some um, pink frosting left over from when I made cupcakes with my daughter. So I'm just going to use this one. But you can use, again, any kind of frosting that you want. Then we're also going to need, I have some white chocolate and dark chocolate to dip them in. These are optional. I have some cupcake liners and I will show you what we're going to need those for. But those are optional. You don't have to do those. Also optional is some food coloring. I want my um, white chocolate to be blue to go along with the theme. So I'm going to use the food coloring to change this blue. And of course we're going to need some cake pop sticks. And this is optional too. I have this container with little sprinkles and you can um, use the sprinkles too to just make everything look prettier. Again, this is optional. So the first thing we're going to do is bake our cake. Let's start baking. Alright, so my cake called for one cup of water and half a cup of oil and three eggs. So we're going to get this going. Next we're going to spray down our pan. Alright, it's all set to go so my box says to put it in for 38 minutes. So we're going to put it in and set the timer. Already our cake is done so we're going to go ahead and take it out and let it cool. Stick a toothpick to make sure it's cooked. Ready. So we're gonna let this cool down before we can work with it. Now that our cake is nice and cold with clean hands, we're gonna go ahead and take it and crumble it up like this. Want to make sure to get all the um, pieces nice and crumpled up. Make sure there's no big. Okay, so next we're going to take our frosting and I'm going to use about half of the can and pour it in there. And you can use um, gloves or you can just like crumple it up. Alright, so I put on gloves and I'm just mashing it all together making sure to get it all incorporated in here. This cake is nice and moist. Alright, so now we have our parchment paper here. Um, it's just a tray with some parchment paper on there. And we're going to start taking our little balls and putting them on there. So we're going to make little balls um, a little smaller than a golf ball, I would say. You can make them as big or as small as you'd like. But try to make them all the same size. Like that. So we're just going to make our balls and line up. Alright, so I got 22 balls and I went ahead and smoothed them out without the gloves because you could see the little lines with, um, from the gloves. So I went ahead and smoothed them all out. There's 20, how many do you say 22? So there's 22 here. I'm going to pop them in the freezer for 30 minutes to make them a little bit harder so it's easier to dip with. Alright, so next I'm going to take a little bit of chocolate and warm it up in the microwave for 30 seconds and then we're going to mix it and we're going to keep warming it for 30 seconds um, until it's nice and smooth. Alright, so it's been 30 seconds. We're going to mix it a little bit and then pop it back in. Smooth now. There's no more little chunks in it. So it is ready to work with. Alright, so I took them out of the freezer and we're going to take our cake pop stick, dip it in our chocolate, and then dip it in halfway to our little balls like that. See? And we're going to do that to all of them. 
Alright, if you don't have any cake pops or do you want to save money and don't want to buy any cake pop sticks, I'm going to show you how to um, use, how to make some without the stick. So we're going to leave a few without the stick so you can see that you can make it either way. Alright, now we're going to put it in the freezer uh, for another 5 minutes so this um, chocolate can harden. Alright, so I went ahead and warmed up a little bit of more chocolate pieces and the next step is optional but I'm going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just so it can um, be more loose and easier for dipping. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I took them out of the freezer. The um, chocolate is nice and hard so we are ready to start dipping. Alright, so I went ahead and took them out and we're going to take our little balls without a stick and dip it in our chocolate. Make sure it gets nice and coated good. Tap off the extra chocolate. Alright, and before the chocolate sets, we're going to sprinkle some sprinkles on these. Okay, so I got a bigger bowl and we're going to go ahead and start dipping our little ones in there. So I'm going to rotate it to make sure it gets nice and coated. Tap off the excess. So I have some white chocolate. I'm going to dip a few of them in the white chocolate too. Okay, so I put it in the little sandwich baggie and now we're just going to drizzle. Little squiggly lines. Alright guys, that is it. These are our easy little cake pops. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what kind is your favorite kind. Thanks so much for watching and God bless.